direction where I want to go, and it's not even there. I'm seat and pushing down as far as I can. How to make your motorcycle lighter when doing slow maneuvers. You know, tight U-turns and just slow maneuvers in general. Counterbalance. So that's what we're gonna talk about right now. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And what we're gonna to cover today is counterbalance. Now we know counterbalance is different from counter steering. You know, with counter steering, you push forward, the bike goes to the right. You push forward with your left, the bike goes to the left. But we wanna talk about if you're having problems doing basic U-turns in a parking lot or just basic U-turns on the street. And you may be leaning with the bike when you need to be counterbalancing. If you lean with the bike, then most likely you're gonna fall. If you counterbalance, you can make your bike a lot lighter than it actually is. Because trust me, this, <laughs> a 900 pound beast, and when I'm doing my U-turns, it seems like the bike is not even there. So we're gonna discuss that, and we're gonna cover that right now, right this minute. Now you know when you doing high speeds, 15, 20 miles, in order to turn left, you must push the handle ball forward and go left, and the same thing, right, push forward, turn right. But with counterbalance, you must turn the wheel and slow parking lot, lot maneuvers. So what we're gonna do is show you how to over-exaggerate your counterbalance. What I mean by over-exaggerate, you wanna get way over here. Everything remains the same, look where you wanna go. Frictions all remain the same, little pressure on the rear brake and your RPM somewhere around 11 to 1500 RPMs. The second thing we're gonna talk about is getting off to seat to make your bike even lighter than it actually is. As you can see, I'm sitting on the seat right now. What I mean getting off the seat is you wanna ride right on this angle of your bike. So you get that little butt off the seat about like this or as far as possible as you can and everything still remain the same. Head and eyes look where you want to go. Stay in a friction zone, a little pressure on the rear brake, and controlling your speed with the friction zone and your brake. So what are you doing is leaning off and you're getting that bike as low down as possible and it will be extremely light. So enough talk. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're talking about right now. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, you know, you want to put on your gear when you're doing tight turns, just in case you're not used to it. You may go tighter than you expect, and it may drop your bike. So you don't want to roll on this hard pavement without any gear. Why take that risk? But what I'm going to do is show you the technique that we was talking about. The first ride, I'm going to just do a regular U-turn. The second one, I will over-exaggerate my lean. The third, I will get off the seat and do counterbalance. So here we go. So this is the first one where I just kind of sit straight up and look where I want to go, complete my U-turn. We're coming around again, look where I want to go, complete my U-turn. When you look where you want to go, you want to snap that head around first. Now the second one I'm going to demonstrate is really over to the left, the right. And see how tight that turn becomes when I over exaggerate and lean. I'm still looking where I want to go, still in a friction zone, still a little pressure on the brake. Now this last one, I'm getting off the seat right now, long before I make the turn. And then you can make the turn. I just do circles so you can see I'm actually off the seat while I'm doing this. Back on the seat, looking where I want to go, make my U-turn. Now the quicker you put your head around, the better your U-turn going to be. So, let's do a recap. And high speeds, you are doing counter steering. Push right, go right, push left, go left, and lean with the bike. And counterbalance, 
It's totally the opposite. You're sitting up straight. You lean the bike and you go to the right if you're turning left and you go to the left if you're turning right in order to counterbalance your bike. So I hope you like this video. If so, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If y'all riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. Get out there and do your counterbalance. I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders, and I'm out. Peace.